Good morning. It's Thursday, June 15th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Celebrating the Unexpected, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 21. The Lord kept his word and did for Sarah exactly what he had promised. She became pregnant and she gave birth to a son for Abraham in his old age. This happened at just the time God said it would. And Abraham named their son Isaac. Eight days after Isaac was born, Abraham circumcised him as God had commanded. Abraham was 100 years old when Isaac was born. And Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse a baby? Yet I've given Abraham a son in his old age. Two poignant facts emerge from the image of a 90-year-old woman nursing her newborn son. One, what a miracle she's experienced, which has brought overwhelming joy where there only existed emptiness and resignation. And number two, can she possibly have the energy to last through the terrible twos? (laughs) I might, with all respect, add a third thought about the father. He's going to be 120 years old when that kid starts college. Our last child was born when I was 31, and it made me wonder if I'd have the strength. We could call this the unexpected event of a millennium, but all Sarah could think of was the joy of that moment. She had to celebrate this unexpected gift from God. And that is entirely spot on when you suddenly realize you're standing on holy ground and holding God's promise in your arms. It sounded too good to be true, but it was thoroughly a God thing. Sarah had laughed at the idea when she was eavesdropping outside Abraham's tent as the Lord told him what to name the son, Isaac. His wife would bear him next year. That was the skeptic's unbelief. Now it was the laughter of the redeemed. There are many things about a walk with Jesus that fall into this category of unexpected joy, which dumbfound us and at the same time bring overwhelming joy and faith. Every week during worship, as we approach corporate prayer time, my heart breaks a little as the requests for prayer support reveal care and concern. But interspersed with those are also prayers of thanksgiving as people celebrate the unexpected answers that came to impossible situations, some undoubtedly miraculous, most a simple sense of thankful awareness that God has graciously met a need. I have always found the timing of God impeccable, able to both unnerve me by revealing how tiny my faith is, and at the same time bring a healing balm to that shaky faith. His ways are immeasurably above my thinking. Isaiah 55 says so, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As Father's Day approaches, I'm reminded of my dad and the many kindnesses of what he taught me, both with words and the way he lived a life of being useful and caring. I'm also reminded of my journey as a father, never perfect in knowing what to do, but always trying to learn how to do better, and being so very blessed to see and celebrate God's unexpected gifts blessing our family. For you today, once Sarah's laughter was almost a mockery of God's promise. In the end, it was the celebration of the unexpected gift of promise fulfilled. This should give all of us hope that having a second chance, even in the face of our defeats and wrong choices, is and always has been God's plan. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.